The Gulf War is a well-known conflict that occurred in the early 1990s between Iraq and the coalition of forces led by the United States. It began when Saddam Hussein's Iraq invaded Kuwait on August 2, 1990. Prior to the war, there were occasional clashes along the Iraq and Kuwait border, and relations between the two countries were sometimes tense. Disputes over territory and debt between Iraq and Kuwait led to Saddam Hussein's attempt to invade Kuwait to remove the debts and gain what is rightfully their territory. The Invasion of Kuwait President Saddam Hussein becomes the first Arab ruler in modern history to send his army unprovoked into another Arab country and overthrow its government and install a puppet regime. Operation Desert Storm on January 16 to 17, 1991, this operation began as the coalition forces launched a devastating air campaign. It is a military operation to expel occupying Iraq forces from Kuwait, which Iraq had invaded and annexed months earlier. In 1991, Canada joined an international military coalition to confront Iraq following its invasion of Kuwait. Canada contributed warships and fighter aircraft to the successful campaign to liberate the country, and it was the first time Canada sent women to war in combat roles as well as Canadian Air Naval Forces supporting each other in the war zone. Canada's Role Operation Friction Canada held a seat on the Security Council. The Prime Minister Brian Mulroney was an early supporter of a UN-mandated coalition to oppose Iraq's aggression. He ordered the naval task group to join the embargo forces in the Persian Gulf. For the first time since the unification of the Canadian forces in 1968, naval and air units were directly supporting each other in the war zone. And with the launching of Operation Desert Storm in mid-January, our roles changed and our air task group, the Desert Cats, switched to offensive operations. Our country provided joint headquarters, naval operations, air operations, and also the Canadian Field Hospital. President Bush declared on February 28 that Kuwait had been liberated and ordered an immediate ceasefire, formalized by an armistice negotiated on March 3. After the ceasefire, Canadian forces helped re-establish the Canadian diplomatic mission in Kuwait City. We helped dispose of landmines and other unexplored bombs from the Kuwait oil fields and help fly humanitarian aid and security to Kurdish refugees in northern Iraq.